This is a very old stall, but I like it because Christ the King. And the symbol of Christ is made out of bamboo. I will explain that later. I only would like to say that we are requesting prayers for our graduates in Christ the King Mission Seminary tomorrow. Ten of them will graduate in philosophy. That's why I mention it, because I would like to relate the mission of Christ the King Mission Seminary to the readings of today. What is the mission of the philosophy department, of the Divine Word Mission Seminary? Saklaw niya ng Christ the King. Theology Department, Philosophy Department, Mission of the Philosophy Department, Complete Trust in God, Total Commitment to the Mission, and Openness to the Holy Spirit and to the needs of the Church. Also applicable to you in your own situation. That's why I would like to explain it because it is rooted in the vision that St. Paul while he was in Corinth, saw one night while Paul was in Corinth, the Lord said to him in a vision, do not be afraid. Go on speaking. Do not be silent, for I am with you. Complete trust in God. Do not be afraid. Commitment to the mission. Do not be silent. And openness to the Spirit and to the needs of the world. I am with you, for I am with you. Do not be afraid. Do not be silent, for I am with you. You could also apply that in your own, own situation. Total commitment to your calling. Raise up a family, be successful in your career, help in solving social problems, while having trust, complete trust in God, for He is with us, and then He will come back. I will see you again, according to the Gospel, and your hearts will rejoice. And no one will take your joy away from you. So we are having problems now. COVID, economic disruption. Russia is uh, waging a brutal war against Ukraine without any reason at all. It will disrupt our food security, threaten our food security. We are having a lot of problems. My monkeypox pata another thing. We do not know what other variant will just come and then cause disease and death again. We are in anguish. But the Lord said, I will see you again and your hearts will rejoice and no one will take your joy away from me. So the seminarians are being trained. How to be open to the Spirit and how to be open to the needs of the world. That's why last month, I brought them to the Marikina watershed in the Sierra Madre. We planted bamboo. And the vision, led by the Divine Word missionaries, of one billion bamboo by 2030 is now taking shape. Complete trust in God. Because if we will have a billion bamboo planted, it will make big difference in climate change. It will prevent erosion and flooding in the lowlands, like in Marikina City. And third, it will give jobs to a lot of people. $25 billion worth if we can process the suits, if we can make engineered bamboo, if we can make furnitures and construct houses out of bamboo, already approved by the National Housing Authority. Please pray. If I am granted permission, I have been invited by Singaporean businessmen. 
they would like to order 500 tons of bamboo chips every month. That's a lot of bamboo to be harvested. And that's a lot of money for our people who have bamboos at the back. And then we will be planting thousands of hectares into bamboo in response to the needs of the modern world according to the mission of Christ the King Mission Seminary. Na tinutulungan ninyo na laging sinasabi ng rektor, lagi kayong magpasalamat pag nignimisa dyan. Dahil hindi tayo namatay sa gutom because of the generosity of those who join us in celebrating the Eucharist in the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word. Openness to the Spirit and openness to the needs of the world. That's your duty. That is your mission. Even if you are in a religious congregation, even if you are a grandmother already, even if you are even sick, no matter what, you pray, you help, you contribute. So then, we will be included among the sheep. Hindi sa goats at the end of time. Because the Lord promised, I will see you again. And your hearts will rejoice. And no one will take your joy away from you.